Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, it looks like we got a new banging-ass fight that is being set up by the UFC, and it looks like friggin' Junior Dos Santos is gonna be fighting Francis Nuganu, man, and this is coming out in MMANews.com, where it states... Junior Dos Santos versus Francis Nuganu, new main event of UFC Minneapolis. And in this article, it goes on to state, UFC Minneapolis has a new main event and it will not be a welterweight fight like originally expected. Tyrone Woodley was set to rematch Robbie Lawler, but after Woodley had to withdraw due to a hand injury. Then several welterweights took to social media campaigning for the fight, but the Las Vegas-based promotion decided on a totally new main event. Heavyweights Junior Dos Santos and Francis Nuganu will now be the main event according to ESPN's Brad Akamato. The two were set to fight on the stacked UFC 2 239 that includes two title fights Ben Askren versus Jorge Masvidal Luke Rockhold versus Jan Blakovitz and several other intriguing bouts. Nuganu was coming off of a 26 second TKO win over Cain Velasquez back at UFC Phoenix in February. The win extended his winning streak to two after dropping bouts to Derek Lewis and Stipe Myopic in 2018. Dos Santos meanwhile is riding a three fight win streak with wins over Derek Lewis, Tai Tuvasa and and Blagoy Avanov. He also headlined all three of these fight night cards. The 35-year-old has notable wins over the likes of Miopic, Ben Rothwell, Cain Velasquez, and Frank Mir, among others. The fight is expected to be a number one contender fight. Quote, now with this news coming out, dude, this is actually going to be a friggin' banging ass damn fight. You got a two hard hitting ass dudes like Junior Dos Santos, and you got a hard hitting ass dude like Francis Nuganu. And personally, man, this fight could really go either way because both of these these dudes have friggin' tremendous knockout power. And the one thing that I do like about this fight is you got a guy like Junior Dos Santos who is not going to give a damn and he will bring the fight to a dude like Francis Nuganu. And that was one of the main things that disappointed me when Francis Nuganu had friggin' fought Derek Lewis is when both of those dudes fought. The only thing that pissed me off is with both of them dudes being hard hitting ass dudes knocking out everybody that is in their path. Both of those dudes, it seemed like, were too damn scared to engage with each other just for the simple fact is it seemed like they were too cautious about getting clipped by the other opponent. Where well, you got a dude like Junior Dos Santos who is not going to be playing around when he goes into the ring with a dude like Francis Nuganu, and he is definitely going to use his boxing ability, using his jab, which he has a very good jab, very good combinations, and he will definitely bring the fight to a dude like Francis Nuganu. Now, going into a fight like this, either one of these dudes can win this fight, and it's pretty much going to depend on who is able to clip the other person, but... With the way that Junior Dos Santos does use his aggressiveness to come at his opponents, he has a very good way at being able to set up his punches, being able to set up his combinations, and he has a wide array of strikes because he's not just punching fools, but he also has a nice little arsenal of kicks. I remember even when he friggin' knocked out friggin' Mark Hunt with that damn spinning wheel kick to the head. So he definitely has a nice little array of strikes that he can be able to use to his advantage. But going into a fight like this, if he is too aggressive against a dude like Francis Nuganu, which Francis Nuganu does love to use people's aggressiveness to his advantage, I could definitely see him knocking out friggin' Junior Dos Santos, especially since Junior Dos Santos has been knocked out before. I could definitely see Francis Nuganu win in this fight. But the one thing that I could say is if Junior Dos Santos mixes up his leg kicks with his punches, his clinch game, and his wrestling. He could very well make this a very rough fight for a dude like Francis Nuganu. Keep a dude like Francis Nuganu guessing. And he could definitely come out with this fight as the damn winner. But... I have a good feeling if Junior Dos Santos tries to keep this a friggin' boxing match with a dude like Francis Nuganu, I have a feeling that Francis Nuganu is probably going to end up knocking out a dude like Junior Dos Santos just for the simple fact 
is what the aggressiveness that Junior Dos Santos utilizes on his opponents. Francis Nuganu has a very good way of being able to use his opponent's aggressiveness against them to be able to get his hard-hitting ass punches off. And I could definitely see him clipping a dude like Junior Dos Santos and getting his ass up out of there. But I guess only time is going to tell when this fight does happen. But when this fight happens, dude, this is definitely going to be a friggin' great ass fight for that damn UFC Minneapolis card. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.